it's been a week and it's just Tuesday. So today I've decided that I am not gonna do any social media, not gonna do any work. I am going to just shut myself off digitally and just like take care of myself and take care of my mind and my peace. And one way that I'm gonna be doing that is by creating some art. So I don't necessarily think of myself as an artistic person, but <laughs> I do love a good DIY project around the house. So I have canvases that I'm going to be um, turning or repurposing into wall art. So this one, we actually used to hang a laso on this, so it has like little pin marks um, from where the laso was pinned. And I'm gonna be using that for one wall art. And then this is, I don't even remember where, it says Ijama Ibo on it, so this is very old. But I'm going to be painting over this, and that's one of the good things about canvas is that you can just like paint over something. Um, although this was printed, so I'm hoping that it still, I'm hoping that it still turns out okay. So yeah, that is what this video vlog is gonna be about. I'm gonna get my area ready. The kid is in the corner playing by himself, so I have a little bit of time to just see what I can come up with. So I forgot to say, today I'm wearing all black designers. I am wearing this Made in Africa shirt by Tongoro Studio, and then I'm wearing sweatpants with a little kente on the side, and those are by Ofure. So I will tag both of them down below in the description box. So if you guys don't know, I've only been buying from black fashion designers in 2020. All the clothes that I bought this year, I've only purchased from black designers. The only exception was I purchased something from ASOS, but it was a collection that was curated by a black influencer. You know, if you're kind of thinking about like, how can I support us right now? Like, what can I do? Regardless of where you are in the world, like one thing you can do is to buy black and to inject your money into black economy. is to uh, gesso this one so after watching YouTube video it said dip your paint brush in water so it doesn't soak up all right so I'm gonna apply that Woo. no turning back now and just take nice even strokes oh it's working so I'm just gonna let the first coat dry while Mixing my paints, or preparing my paint for this other canvas. So here's what my palette is looking like. We have, oh my gosh, I'm holding this whole tripod with one hand because I'm holding this baby in the other hand. Um, but at the top row I have black, all black, and then a dark gray and a lighter gray, and then I have my pearl white and then regular white, then I have the gold here, then I mixed blue, the navy blue and white, then that's just regular navy blue, and then I mixed the navy blue and black. So those are the colors I'm going to be working with. Does this inspire you to get that shmoney? Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me try the other design. Let me try the other design. Cause this ain't it. So bad. I don't know why you're uh, asking yourself. Because this is gonna hang up on our wall. It's fine. It looks nice. Okay, so between this two, which one should I do? 
It's a one which means the most to you. Wait, doesn't that mean the most? I'm just trying to copy stuff. This one I feel like has a lot of negative space. This one? Okay, maybe in retrospect, now that I've seen this one, this one doesn't look that bad. This is the wall I'm trying to put this on. You know what? It doesn't look that bad. Okay, my colors are great. My colors are spot on. I'm also trying to match the floor. So yeah, it matches my rug. The colors are fine. I don't know why I'm second guessing myself. I'm just like not an artsy person at all. Okay, so I have changed, I changed my mind. Um, I chickened out, I was supposed to do um, one of these designs on this big canvas and I just can't bring myself to. So I'm gonna do like a simpler brush stroke design. I'm so freaking nervous. I am so nervous. Okay. First, I'm going to, I need to decide whether I want vertical strokes. I'm just gonna go for it. Just gonna start. Oh, no going back now. Okay, actually I can't go back, but now. Okay. Oh. Okay. Let's just, let's just put some brush strokes down. I don't know what design I'm doing. Right, I do want to leave a border, so I don't want to get too wide. I think I want to widen this one though. Oh, yo, this is so stressful. I'm such like a type A perfectionist person. This is why I never really got into art in school because perfection is really the enemy of progress. Yo, I've literally never done anything. I mean, since I was probably eight years old, I've never done anything like this. Getting out of my comfort zone. wall hanging um, I've been wanting to do this ever since I did my hanging herb garden video which I should update you guys yo all my herbs died I planted them in compost instead of um, soil I clearly didn't know what I was doing but I'm going to reattempt to do it but on the balcony that has more sunshine anyway I have this wooden dowel that I got from the hardware store this is more like a stick not a dowel <laughs> Um, but I thought that it could be cool to hang it up in the hallway that doesn't have any art right now um, and to make my own macrame wall hanging, especially because I had so much extra cord left from the herb garden project since I didn't really know what I was doing. I just like bought tons of cords. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Let me figure out how long this is. Okay, it's like almost 39. <laughs> almost 39 inches long i saw in this video that said that you should cut your cord 
four times the length of what you want the finished product to be. I can always cut it later. So I need 24. I need 48 inches worth of cord, but then double. And then like this. I'm just gonna cut a few pieces so that I have, I'm not like trying to measure out later. So everything I'm about to show you, I saw on the good old YouTube. So um, I think I'll link below in the description box the tutorial that I used to kind of figure out what I'm doing. Faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me. Cause baby, I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. Mm -hmm. I'm on hiatus. Uh -huh. Baby, don't check for me. To be honest, like this kind of stuff is just such a really good distraction from everything going on um i think that you know there's a lot of pressure right now on black people to talk and to educate and to inform and although i've posted a couple of things um especially from a public health perspective on instagram the best thing i can do for myself as a black woman right now is to be healthy and to be happy and to be whole um, and to thrive. <laughs> so I think that for me, you know, if people want to know what they can read so that they can not be racist, they really can just consult Google. Um, and I should be able to spend my time doing random things like macrame, you know, like. I just feel like the burden of education shouldn't be on us and it's also not fair that like our lives have to stop as we contend with what we know has been happening for centuries um where you know there are definitely some people in the world who are carrying on about their day they're still going to brunch not socially distanced <laughs> they are i don't know still doing whatever um but it's like we kind of I think that there's this expectation that like our lives need to stop now um, and educate the masses. And I kind of like am subverting that in my own little way by by doing art, by creating, yeah, by taking care of myself, really, by taking care of myself. And I can't say that that's the right approach for everyone, but for me, like this is the most subversive work I could be doing is being a happy, healthy black women like that is the biggest insult that i can make to anyone who doesn't think that i have the right to to live my life so yeah okay so i didn't like how long <laughs> this was taking me for freaking ever although it came out pretty well so i just tried to do a three stranded um knot on this side and it took up way more space so i'm not gonna do this uh, I'm gonna do one with three strands on this side and another one with three strands on this side So this will be like my smaller knot and these ones I'm imagining will be like that because I'm trying to get like some Length to it. Yeah, we'll see You know when you're getting your hair braided and the braiding lady asks you to help hold hair And like give her sections. That's what I feel like I'm doing right now I'm like sectioning off hair and then using my foot to separate them. Yo, also, my son has been asleep for like 
two and a half hours. Ah, it's always a good day when the kid naps for an appropriate amount of time. It allows me to do something. Don't take it personal. We just building. It's the season, late foundation. Make a name for generations, please, and make a and take a break or a little vacation and chase and blues away. Hey, hey. You always posting a pictures, trying to look like you winning or look like you always be working, soaking the moments you live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't ask me, cause baby, I'm okay. I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. Mm -hmm. I'm on hiatus. Uh -huh. Baby, don't check for me. So I ended up using two like bundles of cord. I'm just gonna fill in right here because this is looking a little holy. So I'm gonna fill that in. This one's too short. Kid is talkative today. Okay, so I need to do three things. I need to first cut across, then I need to comb it out so that it fringes, then I'm going to dip dye it so that the bottom half can be like ombre black. Taking time out to be and live my life off screen. And free. Hey, I ain't worried about what's the wave, only worry about me. Yeah. Alright, so I came out to my balcony because I'm going to dip dye the acrylic. It's so loud outside. Sorry. I have some water in here. I've hung this up. I'm gonna add just some black paint. Uh, this is not the real way to dye um, fabric, but it's the way I'm gonna do it. <laughs> oh, I'm taking time out to be and live my life off screen. Taking time out to be and live my life. I So I actually love how this wall hanging looks. You can see it right when you enter the apartment and it kind of matches the rug that I absolutely love. Um, this wall is still bare, but I do have stuff to put on it. I just haven't decided what configuration I wanna do, but it's so pretty here. It looks so good. I'm so happy. I'm so happy with how it turned out. It was really, really, really amazing. Then, in the office, you have this beautiful gallery wall that I half painted. So this is that first painting that you guys saw me finally come up with. And then this is the second painting that I eventually did with that canvas that said, not all who wonder are lost. Those prints I've had um, from our old apartment and this, I just printed actually um, from a black artist that I found on Etsy. I'll put it in the description box. And yeah, that is my doctoral cap, hat, hood, not hood, cap. <laughs> but yeah, that's my new wall art. All right, thanks so much you guys for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed my week of creating wall art as a form of self-care. I definitely think that it was the best thing for me to do to 
like not focus on the internet and the news and to just really try and get out some creative energy and I'm really happy with the things that I came up with. So if this has inspired you to try out some DIY canvas art or even a wall hanging, definitely let me know down below which of the two that you liked and what you are thinking about trying. I really would love to know your honest, honest thoughts on this art piece because I kind of feel like it like might actually like low-key be good. I know this one's like not great, but this one like has potential to be something. So I'm really proud of what I came up with. I would love to know you guys' thoughts. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, I will catch you guys in the next video. If you made it to the end, good for you because you get to help me choose my next video. So I'm either debating releasing my home office tour or a kind of story time video about why I decided not to pursue traditional academia after getting my PhD. So let me know down below which of those two video topics you would love to see in next week's video. Otherwise, I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your day and that you stay well and that you stay safe. Thanks for watching. Bye.